over the half of the state of Oregon is deserts. Places like the Owyhee Canyonlands, the John Day River, Steens Mountain. As soon as I moved to Oregon, I discovered the Oregon High Desert and I've never left. I suppose it's the, the hugeness of the landscape, the solitude, um, the limitless skies, the, the starry nights. What's not to love? <laughs> It was 25 years ago that a small group of us got together because we realized that there was no one standing up for the Oregon deserts. And that small group grew into the Oregon Natural Desert Association. ONDA is a group that's worked over the past 25 years to protect, defend, and restore Oregon's high desert. Most people think of the deserts as being a place of blowing sand and tumbleweeds. You know, when in fact you have some of the longest undammed rivers in the West where salmon will charge up these rivers from a hundred miles away from the, from the Pacific Ocean. Every year, ONDA has nearly a thousand volunteers who get out on the ground and do things like pull fence to make sure that pronghorn antelope or sage grouse can move freely across this landscape. Restore rivers that, you know, have been damaged by livestock grazing or other impacts to ensure that native fish can recover for future generations. We've protected Steens Mountain Wilderness and the Badlands Wilderness and the Spring Basin Wilderness along the John Day River. But that's just the start of the work that needs to be done in the next 25 years to come. We're now moving farther east to the marvelous canyons of the Oahe country. So the Oahe Canyonlands is just a, a vast and beautiful place. It's one of the last great opportunities that we have within American conservation uh, within the lower 48 states. And that's because it's so remote, it's hard to access, but the beauty once you get there is well worth protecting the place. A place where one can go and be truly alone with nature. A unique thing in this time of billions of people the Hawaii has the largest herd of California bighorn sheep in the country. Serves as a migration corridor for a lot of these species and allows for animals to move over a vast landscape. So the Oregon portion of the Hawaii is over two million acres. We want to keep the place uh, the way that it is. you're sitting on the canyon rim and you watch the sun go down, or if you're uh, up for the first morning light on the mountaintops, that's something that uh, runs through the blood of every Westerner. The responsibility falls to current generations to do everything we can to make sure that these areas and the Oahe Canyonlands are left wild for future generations, as we've been fortunate enough to have prior generations leave areas like Crater Lake or Yellowstone National Park wild for us because there are things worth fighting for.